Hey guys, it's Kieran from the Metal Detecting Show podcast. This week, I've been lucky enough to be sent the legend by Nocta via Delec, who we just interviewed last week. So happy days it arrived. I did plan to do an unboxing video. However, the box got damaged in shipping, as you can see here. To no fault to Nocta or Delec, is what it is. It arrived Friday evening, I haven't been home. So it was out in the rain for the last three days. But the box got a little bit damaged, but it's a waterproof detector. So everything was fine. So what I have done is I've already assembled the detector and I'm going to give you my first thoughts and my first impressions of it. So let's get on with the show. All right, guys, let's get started. So you get the mandatory hat now from Nocta. Um, let, me try, let me try it on. Yeah, nice hat. It's fine. <laughs> but you know, it's a hat. Free advertisement for Nocta. Let's drive on. Comes with the update and charging cable. Actually, nothing. Let's just... Comes with the update and charging cable, which is very much the same cable as the Simplex um, meter and length using generic waterproof connectors. Good enough quality, so all good. At least there's another cable I can use on the Simplex when I lose my, <laughs> my Simplex cable. Up next then would be the Nocta Macro vinyl bag. And inside the vinyl bag, you have the headphones and another cable. Like I said, I've already opened this guys. I had to open it to make sure everything was there. Nice bag. Um, I might not have any use for it because normally I just throw my headphones into a box in the back of the van. So, um, but yeah, listen, nice to have it. Um, nice touch. Again, another USB cable. Um, I presume it goes in here to charge. Yeah, to charge it here. Very short. My only gripe with this would be that it's very short. Nice and flat. I like a flat cable, but um, very short. Uh, very difficult to charge this away from a countertop. Um, even just using a wall wart on the side of your wall in your house would result in this hanging down like this. So maybe not ideal. They could have given us a longer one, but then saying that we very much have way too many of these, too many of these anyway. So I, I, you know, a smaller one maybe is more economical and better a more environmentally friendly way to go. So there's that. And then after the headphones. Yeah, the headphones are nice. Um, the fit well, uh, let me show you. Yeah, the fit well, I have a fairly big head and I come in at one and a half on the scale. So if you're a big homunculus, you may need to go to the full size um, or you have a woolly hat on or whatever. The cups seem to be able to come off and to be replaced. However, I won't pull them off because they're a bitch to get back on um, generally. So, um, but yeah, good replaceable cups there. Headphones come with a microphone. So um, that's good as well. I can pair it with your phone. Standard uh, 3.5 mil jack in, obviously the USB charging. An actual switch on and off, which is great. And then there's a mode selector. I'm not entirely sure what the mode selector is. Another nice feature of this is I like the fact that the volume up and down button is actually this big tactile switch. If you're like me and you wear gloves all the time in the field, this is what you need. You need these switches actually to be able to feel these switches. These, these recessed rubberized switches you just can't feel in your hands while you're detecting are a nightmare. This is a good step forward by Nocta on the headphones. And um, they've considered that, you know, on and off. All good. Yeah, nice, good quality headphones. Um, let's see how long they last. They have a, a 1200 milliamp hour battery internally, um, which seems to be the standard these days. So you should get two to three days of good detecting out of these. However, if you, if you need to charge them up, very easily charged via, via a battery bank here. What else can I say? Oh yeah, it uses Bluetooth 5.0, so the aptX low latency from Qualcomm. If you remember my Bluetooth episode back in the day, I, I went into all that. So yeah, so a nice, uh, a nice uh, set of Bluetooth headphones, worthy of the vinyl bag, I suppose. 
But yeah, I like them and they're very comfortable. Um, so let's see how long they last in the field though. And then after the detector itself, as you can see, I've, I've assembled it. Um, like I said, we had that issue with the shipping package. So I would have loved to have done a, an assembly video for you, but listen, there's hundreds of these videos online anyways. So I'm just giving my first impressions here. So you don't need to see me assemble it. Starting with the coil. You see the coil has these very robust coil leaps. They are not going anywhere. I really like them. Um, very much ruggedized coil. It's a new new coil design compared to the simplex. Um, your traditional double D um, coil design with the sweet spot, I assume, is in around here. Um, the lower shaft, working your way up. The lower shaft, as you can see, the lower shaft is carbon fiber. Very light. I actually thought it was packaging when I first took it out of the box. Um, but yeah. Really reducing the weight at the end of the swing really will lower that level of fatigue at the end of the day, um, swinging around a heavy coil. So yeah, nice step forward by Nocta on that. I love these clamps, proper clamps at the bottom. You know, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Nice proper clamp there um, at the bottom. And it's again here at the main control box. Um, the upper shaft, here is extruded aluminium by the looks of it. Um, again, very nice, uh, probably steel actually, extruded steel by the looks of it. Again, very nice um, brushed metal sort of, no, uh, powdered metal. But, um, and then we get up to the, the business end. So let me just shorten this one. Then we get up to the business end of the sector. So the grip very much feels like a pistol grip. It was one of the things I loved about the Simplex. It's the exact same grip as the Simplex. The exact same um, back end and, and cuff as the Simplex as well. However, the control box is completely different. So first impressions on the actual detecting unit. I love the feel of it. It feels a little bit chunkier than the Simplex and a little bit heavier than the Knox. However, you see every dollar you've paid in the makeup of the machine. It looks like it's worth every $749 that you've paid for it. Yeah, so first impressions feels great. And um, there's a bit of heft to it. So I don't know how that's going to fare after uh, a good couple of hours detecting. It has the, the recess here for the uh, accessory pack. But I do believe the community, once they get a hold of it, will start producing third market accessories to fit into here, which would be great. Let's power it on. Have a look at the screen. So obviously LD is loading. So it's on version 1.09. So it's been updated to the latest version it is. As a habit, I don't read the manual till I've at least had one or two goes on it. But straight off the bat, I'm delighted to see the clock. Every time I go detecting, I have to bring my phone to just keep track of time. I'm just delighted to see that clock. Battery indication is quite good as well. It seems to have four uh, detecting modes. It looks like park, field, beach, and I don't know what that is. That looks like a pickaxe. You can see your conductivity scale there from one to 60. So I imagine silvers um, would be coming in the 50, 60 range. You have a depth gauge, sensitivity gauge, ferrous content and um, conductivity or non-ferrous conductivity scales here, which I really like. Um, I saw it on the day, this is something the DS2 has as well. So i um, quite excited to bring that out into the field. And then just, let's just see what's um, in the settings. Uh, okay, there's quite a lot of settings to mess around with. So it looks, seems to be a very versatile looking machine, but yeah, first impressions, I'm quite impressed with the detector. So I can try and turn it off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, first impressions, I am very impressed with the detector. It looks like it's worth every dollar people are paying for it. it it's so robust feeling that you probably, probably could dig the holes with it as well. So initial first impressions, I'm, I'm very impressed with it. 
But let's compare it to the simplex there quickly. So here you go. Side-by-side -side comparison of the simplex to the legend. First of all, this is not a like-by-like -like comparison. This is a multi-frequency machine. This is a single-frequency machine. Probably the best and simplest beginner detector out there. And then progressing into the, the legend, the multi-frequency machine. Quite similar. The differences in the coil, absolutely. However, you can see the control box arm and cuff assembly are very similar. Um, not, not that that's a problem or anything, but yeah, just to compare it. Doing a like-by-like -like comparison to the Equinox and the Legend, you can see similar type of coil. However, we know with the Knox, nothing, nothing but problems with these coil, coil ears. Lower shaft has a tendency to fill up with, with water and sand. And really, first impressions with the Knox was very much marred, was very much marred with this crutch, hospital crutch-like assembly. This really, really is low quality um, delivery by Mine Lab. So much so resulting in a lot of people making money out of just replacing this, coming up with their own replacement of um, shaft, which I can't see you wanting to do with the Legend. So first impressions with the Legend compared to the Knox, I would have to say the Legend takes first impressions purely on an aesthetic and quality feel basis. Now, I'm not commenting on how multi-frequency is utilized by both of these machines. I haven't tested the legend in anger yet. Okay, guys. So my first impressions of the Nocta legend. It's a nice looking machine, very ruggedized. I do. I do enjoy that look and feel with everything. It looks worth every dollar you're paying for it. The Bluetooth headphones that come with it are of good enough quality to utilize the latest in Bluetooth technology, which is great. So you're gonna have a super fast response in your headphones. Yeah, looks great. I'm really looking forward to trying it out in the, next, in the coming weeks and, and learning this machine. So guys, if you like that, uh, let me know, give me a like and subscribe. Um, obviously listen to the podcast every week. We're on a, episode 112 this week, um, which is going great. The podcast going great. Obviously it's not suitable for YouTube, but we do upload it onto YouTube if you want to listen to it on YouTube. But the better experience is to go to Spotify, your iTunes, those type of places to listen to the podcast. Um, I just wanted to give you guys something to, to look at, a video to look at. So there it is, guys. The legend, my first impressions. And it gets a two thumbs up from Kiran.